Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm taking you through what I got for Christmas in 2023 but before we get to that remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So we are now officially in 2024 so I thought I would take you through what I received from Santa and my family for Christmas. So lots of exciting things. Um, there are a few things that basically I have already eaten. And um, those things are, I got some Boost Bars. They were delicious. I only recently realized that Boost Bars did not contain peanuts or coconut. I think because originally, very, very originally, Boost Bars used to be coconut, like back in like the early eighties. I just assumed that they all still had coconut or peanuts in them or something like that. I'd never eat one. I only ate one like maybe June 2023 was the first time I ever tried one. They're, they're amazing. They're absolutely delicious. Love them. I'm a bit obsessed. Uh, and Heavy Metal Hubby very, very kindly got me like a little pack. They're all like little dinky ones. They were really delicious. I scoffed them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he also got me an orange 12 because orange 12s along with now boosts are my favorite yum 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 and father christmas got us all in our stockings some tony's chocolonely and i got a caramel biscuit chocolate bar and some sea salt caramel little bits which just makes me think of little rick and morty little bits you hungry come on down little bits little bits but um no they were absolutely delicious scoffed them all, loved every mouthful, delicious. And uh, my boss at the interior design company, she got me some after eight sticks and they were delicious. Absolutely loved them. Again, scoffed them all very quickly. That was a very enjoyable and delicious <laughs> things to get for Christmas. So what else did I get? I know, you know, everything I wear is black. Everything I own is black. And then people got me snuggle socks and they're not black. I, I don't mind snuggle socks you know what it's fine I can't like it when you know when you put them on and you've got like a pair of new rocks on and underneath you've got these like baby blue snuggle socks <laughs> or these ones that uh I think Father Christmas got me these ones it says on the bottom of this one if you can read this it says make me some tea <laughs> so <laughs> if you weren't aware I'm obsessed with tea I love myself a cup of tea I've got one here thank you very much yeah so these are very me heavy metal hobby did say that they didn't do black ones of these otherwise he would have definitely bought them but yes very happy for snuggle socks i tend to have cold feet quite a lot so it's always nice to have some snuggly socks to keep me warm mm, delicious right what else did i get well i don't know if you know but i don't really drink very much but i have recently discovered gin and i quite like gin i'm i yeah, I don't drink very often uh, and I quite like gin because it doesn't make me feel horrible unless I drink a lot of gin. Turns out you can drink quite a lot of gin um, and yeah, I so before Christmas I ended up drinking over half a bottle of gin on a girls night out. That was bad. That was really, really bad. That was bad. So I'm probably not going to drink any gin now until about April. But when I do, <laughs> I was given this, which apparently is really nice gin this is roku gin which is like a japanese gin haven't opened it yet i am very looking forward to opening it i just i can't face gin at the moment i didn't have any over the christmas at all i yeah i kind of ruined it <laughs> with my girls night out it was a great night out great night out we had a great time but oh i kind of ruined gin <laughs> so but yes very very delicious and my boss at the uh interior design company and got me this this is a bottle of canty uh which i have not tried but i did put into chat gpt all the alcohol that we have in the cupboard because we were also given a little bottle of slow gin um and uh, we've got some some mead and we've got some applejack and stuff like that uh and so i put all of them in and it's come up with some really interesting cocktails so when i feel like drinking again i'm going to make some really weird cocktails <laughs> out of what we've got in the cupboard but yes i will definitely be using that for some of the cocktails because there's one that's like a ginger mead gin and um apple jack type fizz thing with the canty it sounds very exciting i'm quite looking forward to it should be delicious but i'm not in the mood for booze yet right what else did i get what else did i get oh yes so these are slightly more what's the word practical and useful so i got shower caps because 
when you're dyeing your hair all the time, you need a lot of shower caps. So I really get through shower caps quite a lot because the elastic goes on them or I, they just end up so stained with hair dye. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, Santa, for shower caps and also clips for using when I'm dyeing my hair because you, yeah, a lot of hair, got to keep it, you know, trussed up when you're dyeing it so that you can get it all nice and neat. So, yes, thank you again, Santa, for some hair clips. This one, this is a, an interesting one so I got this now it's like a witchy sign hang on it's a pumpkin and a cat and it's it's yeah it hangs from the side of your house we're going to put it maybe by the front door we're not sure maybe by the front door we might put it out the back I'm not quite sure because our front the front of our house gets quite a lot of wind because um, there's like a big open field in front of it so the wind can really pick up speed so it might be too noisy out the front of the house so it might have to go at the back but I think we're going to try out the front first because out the front of our house we have um, like a rebel soul door number with um, like a side profile of a skull with a little top hat on and I have a mat that I got from Kate's Clothing that says we're all batshit crazy here uh, as our front door mat and this now it's gonna look awesome with the spooky house I love it when the old ladies disapprovingly shake their head as they walk past our house and then realize they can see me sat in the front room which is always good fun so <laughs> yeah I'm really excited to put that out in the front of the house I think heavy metal hubby may have that on his list of things to do this weekend lucky him <laughs> so <laughs> I also got from Santa these nightmare before Christmas like magnet type things um they're really cool there's like a pumpkin lots of different pumpkins lots of different jacks there's skeleton faces that kind of thing some of them i might put up on uh, my splashback for my hob which is metal some of them i I'm, I'm not really sure where i'll put the rest of them I'm, they might clip onto my mirror in here i'm not sure because i think it might have a metal back uh, i have a funny feeling that my my uh, son may steal some because he is obsessed with the nightmare for christmas so i can see that once i crack this pack open they're gonna suddenly disappear but um yeah they're very cute i love a i love a good skull magnet don't we all we all love skulls so yes very cool now this is something incredibly adorable that my daughter made for me and she called it the jar of love and it's 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 full of little notes to make me feel better when i'm having a bad day and it says we are so lucky to have you and yeah, I haven't even read them all yet. They're adorable, it's absolutely adorable. And it really does make me feel better when I'm having a bad day. I mean, how adorable is she? Oh God, I hope she stays this lovely forever. So, uh, uh, yeah, she's 12 at the moment, so fingers crossed. Yeah, she's my little baby bat and oh, she's so sweet. Just adorable, absolutely love that. It's one of my favorite things I got for Christmas that absolutely, absolutely love it. Now, another thing that I really love that I got for Christmas is I love to cook and I love to cook curries and Heavy Mark Hubby got me this. It's called Dan Toomes the Curry Guy Bible and it's really good. I've already made, um, I made, what was it, I made one of the chickpea curries and I made, the, I made the authentic chicken handy, that's it, it was bloody delicious, absolutely delicious. I also made one of the chickpea dishes, uh, this is the problem, it's not like done in like vegetarian, then chicken, then lamb, so they're kind of all over the place. But oh my god, they're so good. Um, you need to have quite the stocked spice cupboard, I have an exceptionally stocked spice cupboard. When I eventually get round to doing my house tour, I will show you my spice cupboard because it is immense and I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love to cook curries. I love all Asian food, curries, um, sort of Chinese food, Asian food, Filipino food. Um, I love doing making um, things like fur and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm so pleased with this. I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm probably gonna cook another one of these by the end of the week because <laughs> I can. So yeah, that is my curry cookbook. I also got some Real Techniques makeup brushes. I love makeup brushes. I love having some different shaped makeup brushes. Sometimes, you know, when you're like, I just wish this brush was a little bit thinner. And yeah, so these are great because they're similar to some of the ones I've already got, but they're not exactly the same, which is brilliant because it means I've got more shapes and stuff to try and do specific looks with because also I'm not very good at it. So having, you know, the option of lots of different tools does kind of help because, yeah, I'm a little heavy handed, I think, is my main problem. And so being able to, you know, have something that's, that's you know, able to help me blend a bit better, etc., is really, really handy. So that is my Real Techniques brushes. Let's get on to the more gothic -y things that I received. So first thing I got is this gorgeous, this gorgeous Creepsville 
uh, beret that the kids got me. I love this. Apparently they picked it themselves. Uh, yeah, absolutely love it. It's so cute. I can't wait to try and accessorise it. I do love a beret. I need to dig out my... I've got a Creepsville bat belt as well and I think together they will look phenomenal. Um, yeah, I just need to get practised at getting it on at the right jaunty angle because I have to admit I practiced a bit this morning and I was like I can't get it right so <laughs> I might have to find a YouTube video that tells you like how's the best method to get it on and get because I find a lot of the time I'm like the hat's right but my hair's looking really weird poking out from the side of it or something like that but we will get there we will get there but yeah that is my Creepsville beret so on to the Killstar things so because <laughs> You know me, it's a bunch of Killstar stuff. So this, I bought this in the Black Friday sale thinking, because I'm going to paint in here my YouTube room because at the moment all the walls are like a cream colour um, and I find when I'm filming outfit videos and stuff, the cream colour gives my skin like a, it, it, it casts the wrong sort of shadow on me. It gives my skin like a, a reddish look, which I don't like. I want the background behind me to have a cooler tone to it at the moment because it's a beigey colour it's got like a warm oatmeal tone to it so I've picked out the grey I'm very pleased with the grey that I've picked out you know it's already there's you can't see it here but there's all sorts of swatches under the window of many many different greys I've got the right grey and I ordered myself some little shelves off of Amazon to have like a, a little feature wall so that when I'm doing my outfit shots there's just something of interest behind it bought some little plants from Ikea that kind of thing and then I saw this on Killstar's website it's like a little bowl with like it looks like a skull and it's got like matte eyes and matte, matte, a matte sort of mouth hole no, matte nose hole um, and little little pointy ears it's absolutely bloody enormous <laughs> so, <laughs> look at this thing it's huge it's it's almost as big as my head I was expecting this thing to be about that big you know and sit nicely on on my little little shelves which I think are about that wide and this thing is like it, there's no way <laughs> go on the shelf so I don't know where it's gonna go I suspect when I put the shelves up I might do a little bit of a move around and maybe move some of the things that are on here so it may end up living here it may end up going down in the sitting room I'm not quite sure where there's a lot of skulls down there I may put it in the kitchen but there's already a lot of skulls in there there's skulls all over this house I don't know we'll figure it out it will find its home but yeah I was usually these things you think they're gonna be quite big and they turn up and they're tiny this was definitely the other way around but I love it. I really love the little, the little like devil horns, and it's it's kind of got two. It's like ears and then horns, and this matte black on the eyes and the nose. I really like, really really different. And I got this for like eleven quid or something. Hence why I thought it was going to be teeny tiny. So yeah, but never mind. Very cool. Love it. Just um yeah, it's called the uh, Ashmedai Planter. So um yeah, I should have realised when the box turned up and it was this size. <laughs> but there you are. You live and learn, you live and learn. That is Killstar Ashmedai Planter. I will show you where it ends up going when I figure it out. So the next item is the Killstar Deeply Destroyed Collar. It's this, it's so cool. It's, I yeah, I really wanted like, I've got a collar with a big ring like this, but I wanted it to have layers to it as well. And I find that when I layer them up myself with other necklaces, it just doesn't look right. I can't get it right. And I was like, what I need is lots of chunky chains. And then I was like, well, actually, why don't I just get this? And it's already got all the chunky chains. They're in the right place. So this, it's got a popper at the back as well. I will give you, of course, my full review when I've actually worn it. I've literally just taken it out of the packaging today. But I like it. Actually, I might keep wearing that. I like it. It looks cool. It, it's it's a lot of pizzazz. I, I think it's going to look really great with some of the other items that you'll see in a bit um, that I've got for, you know, going out and that kind of thing. Um, it's quite heavy because of all the chains and stuff like that, but, you know, they have made sure it's nice and thick to support the weight. Um, and I like, really like the ones with poppers on the back because the buckle ones, they're really cool, but your hair gets caught in the buckle. So I really like it having a popper you know makes it and it just means also if you get any of this sort of stuff caught in anything you know hopefully not but you know just to be on the safe side it'll just come off because it's a popper whereas if it's a buckle that ain't coming off so yeah i think if nothing else from a safety point of view it's a good idea it having a popper it's a nice meaty popper too so yes that is the killstar deeply destroyed choker love it okay so this next item this is the killstar cora top it's kind of dull it's not the most exciting thing I wanted a basic I wanted something that was 
it's like a, it's like a tunicky type top it's got like a high low hem so a handkerchief hem rather so it's long at the sides shorter at the front um it's made of a nice t-shirty cotton material it's got a nice sort of sort of slash it's kind of a scoop kind of a slash neck front so it's very flattering again would look great with the choker just something that's easy to wear easy to chuck on you know you can wear with a nice pair of cool leggings or a cool pair of trousers and just easy to chuck on i just wanted something that was comfortable and easy to wear because i ate all the christmas chocolate so you know i'm not feeling um my most slender at the moment so a lot of my clothes are a bit tight quite quite a bit tight so you know having something that's easy to chuck on and just make me feel like i you know i look really good is great i'm really really pleased with this you know easy to wear and again this was about 11 or 12 quid it was on a sale so i jumped at it you know because i'd seen it before at full price it was about 35 quid full price which i was like absolutely not but 11 12 quid yes i'm having it that is the killstar cora top okay so these next items these are the killstar karina leggings um, again these are quite basic but they've got this like nice little mesh insert here on the like on the mid thigh which i really like they've got the nice wide thick waistband that i know and love from killstar leggings i've killed like two pairs of my killstar leggings over the christmas break like the seams have gone and i mean they were like three or four years old you know they they've done their you know they've done well you know i bought them way before we moved here and we've been here over two years so they've done really really well but I'm sad and Kilsa don't seem to be selling any of the leggings that are like the older style leggings with this thick waistband, but they're all cotton. So these are good. These are definitely thicker material. Um, at the moment, they're a little bit tight on me. They weren't when I bought them. <laughs> you see, it's the problem. I'm eating all the Christmas chocolate. But um, yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm basically living on salad at the moment. So yay. But um these are really nice really thick they're not summer leggings definitely not going to be the kind of leggings i take to lanzarote with me but they're nice they hold you in i think i think they are sold as exercise leggings i wouldn't wear these to do exercise you'd overheat but um i i think they're really nice i think they're good like autumn winter spring leggings um really really nice thick you know material and it's you know nice quality seem to be very comfy they're just a little bit tight at the moment so these are another pair of leggings that I got. These are called the Wasteland Woods leggings. They're like tie-dyed. I thought they were going to be leggings. Should have read the uh, you know the description a bit closer. These are like polyester. They're tights. They're like really thick tights, footless tights. Um, so it's kind of weird. Um, I have to admit, I kind of wish I'd worn them today, actually, because this dress, this is an XL Umbra dress. This is the kind of thing that they'd look perfect with. I might chuck them on later because I've got to take the kids to their swimming lesson and I'm wearing fishnets and I'm going to freeze. So, um, yeah, I might put these on a bit later. Um, again, they're really cool. They're just not what I was expecting them to be. I wouldn't wear them with like just a jumper. These are more like to wear under a dress, I think. I would call them like a stopgap between tights and leggings when you want something warmer than tights but thinner than leggings and i definitely i I'm, i i don't think i'd want to go out and my my butt or my crotch be viewable because i would worry that you might be able to see through them um just because the material is thinner and also i definitely wouldn't want to get too hot in these these you would definitely overheat in um but yeah they're yeah they're 95 percent polyester amide and five percent elastane should have realized from the description but you know what it's like you know trying to buy things on the black friday sale to you know so that you're comfortable and blah 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 but yeah so this pair and the last pair of leggings were from my parents from my sister i got these these i got from kate's clothing everything all the other stuff i got from killstar in the killstar sale these i got from kate's clothing i have worn these excuse me i literally had to grab these out of the washing machine to film this this video that i was about to put them on so they are a little bit dirty uh, but these are the slitherina leggings these i love they are so comfortable they're exactly these are the kill style leggings i want more of um they are really really comfy lovely lovely cotton nice thick waistband um i'd like really like the pattern on the leg i hadn't realized actually some of the little flecks in it are green so um yeah bit unusual wasn't expecting that something a bit different i don't know whether i'd have bought them if i'd known but you know what when they turned up i was like actually i quite like that so yeah really really like them i would prefer if the detail was lower because i tend to wear leggings as 
with like a, a very long jumper or something like that so sometimes you can't actually see any of the detail on them but that's fine you know i they're still really really comfortable leggings um yeah really really like them that is the slitherina leggings as you can see these ones have definitely been worn the most because they're dirty <laughs> so the last couple of items i got as like a set um so again i will definitely be doing a video on these to show how i would style them etc also i need to lose a bit of weight for, to wear them they f i can get them on i need to lose a bit of weight but um yeah this is the cynthia maxi skirt which is like a mesh skirt with it's actually very stretchy top here um and it's got like built-in shorts as well i wasn't expecting the built-in shorts and i really like this sort of cyberpunk like um sort of, what do you call it? i can't think what they're called they're like a press side clasp really really like that and then to go with it is this dark reality top which has got like a similar the similar detail here across the shoulder reminds me of a punk rave top i have that's got like a, a it's got like a buckle on one of the shoulders and one across the top as well um it's really really nice top nice and uh, cottony i think there's a little bit of synthetic in that cotton there again i will let you know when i do the review video um it's yeah really really nice i was hoping that the mesh would be stretchy there the mesh is not stretchy on this but then on the skirt is i would have made them out of the same mesh but there you are bit weird but no this is a really really nice outfit i thought this was quite a good kind of you know and that with the these leggings underneath i think would look really good you know good way to wear it just need to eat some more salad before i can actually you know feel confident wearing it. i'm sure i could wear it now i could wear it now i just don't feel that it looks as good as it could so i want to lose a few pounds before i do that doesn't everybody it's christmas everybody wants to lose a bit of weight after christmas and the last thing was when my boss gave me all the presents bless her she gave me this bag with my, an l on funnily enough i had been looking at these on amazon and then being like don't be ridiculous don't 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 no don't be that wanker that buys yourself one of these but um yeah she bought me one so you know cool <laughs> I didn't buy it for myself so it's all right <laughs> but no I use this to take like my lunch and stuff to work which is really cool um, and obviously it's very in keeping with moi because it has my initial on it and it's black but no really really nice to have a a nice like hessian tote bag so yes that is what I got for Christmas what did you guys get for Christmas let me know down in the comments below as always there is a load of discount codes there is a my usual kate's clothing discount code down in the description there is a killstar discount code there is all other manner of businesses discounts down in the description go check all of those out like i said comment down below tell me what you got for christmas what was your favorite thing what was your least favorite thing if you've got something terrible i'd love to hear about it i want the tea so <laughs> Remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.